Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another video unboxing and a small review on a Louis Vuitton wallet that I have picked up recently on one of my haul videos in Vienna. Alright, so uh, without further ado, here is um, your standard Louis Vuitton paper bag that they always you know, pack this thing in. Uh, here's the, the box that the item came in. It's uh, your draw out box. Uh, brown color classic box from Louis Vuitton. Uh, this is the envelope with uh, the, the receipt. Um, I'm gonna say, yeah, there is a lot of you know, a lot of guys are either saying, or a lot of reviewers or YouTubers, fellow YouTubers are sometimes you know talking about the price, not talking the price. So I'm gonna talk about the price. So uh, the price of this particular item is 590 euros and, and I've been assisted by lovely Maria uh, who is one of the best essays in the Louis Vuitton store in Vienna. Hi Maria if you're watching and uh, you know I always get assisted by either by Maria or my other essay which is Angela and Angie if you're watching hi. Um, these two ladies are amazing. I, I do believe the other people in the Louis Vuitton store in Vienna are also very, very good. But, you know, I, I'm very, very happy with my two, two essays. Um, so I always go to either or, depending who's available at the time when I visit the store. Alright, so, receipt as I said, 590 euro for this piece, guys. Um, we'll take the leather cording off. Uh, this is how they usually, uh, you know, peg this in. Pull it out and get rid of the box to reveal the dust bag. It's your flat kind of style dust bag uh, that came with this wallet. As you can see already, the wallet is pretty big. Um, and without further ado, here she is. So, the Louis Vuitton Insolite Organizer Wallet. Um, this one is, as you can see, in the monogram pattern. Uh, you can get this one also, I believe, in Damier Eben. Um, and there was also a Damier Azure Limited Run one, I believe, which had a sign something something written on it I don't know what but I do believe that there is one like that also or was available not available probably now um, the difference between this and the, the insulate um, is one this is bigger and B um, this is uh, this has a zipper pocket on the outside where the, the standard insulate does not have um, Another thing to note from this particular wallet is, um, which I think also the other one is has, is the little, call it or not call it, D-ring uh, or ring here, which allows you to attach that inside your bag, but it does not come with, uh, you know, with a string or with a chain. So if you want that, you need to purchase that separately. On the outside, as I already mentioned. Um, this wallet has a zipper compartment from the from this side which opens very smoothly the hardware is of course golden uh, and the end of the tabs are uh, you know leather so the pull tabs are leather and they have a little Louis Vuitton insignia piece here the depth of this pocket is very nice. I mean, it's not the sh shallowest of the pockets. I try to demonstrate this by putting in my fingers. Um, you know, so it's you can put quite some items in here. I can see, you know, using this pocket for something like a parking card 
or you know something that you need to quickly access to it's not big enough to put the, uh, the phone in here it's not deep enough at least not for the iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 plus if you have some smaller phone then probably you could put it in here but you know for some of these larger phones that are you know going around today uh, and people are using today I do not believe it's possible to put it in I don't have my phone handy but yeah I don't think it would it would actually fit in here because it just I think it is too shallow at least for the iPhone 6 plus okay so that's the outside of the wallet nothing on the back uh, and then I'll open it up it opens by two snaps which are located on the sides here and it reveals uh, this interior another difference to your standard insulate wallet is that this has like a see-through compartment piece uh, where you could put something that you might need to show or it needs to be visible I don't know maybe an ID card for work or something like that um, then if I stay on the bottom piece you have one large compartment here like this and here you have one two three four so four credit card slots um, and this of course is used to put to put one card here or as, I, as I said you know maybe a work card or something like that um, in the middle you can find uh, I would say a pen holder um, it is elastic meaning that you know it will hold different uh, thickness of pens um, which I believe on the older ones um, that piece was from a leather which you know if you didn't have the right size of the pen the pen might not stay in there so I think this is better now the way they did it here um, and then on the other side of the wallet we have a zipper compartment here so first in the back we have a compartment here then the zip compartment here and then we have another compartment here which kind of opens this way so it's good if you want you know to put your receipts in or I can see putting here uh, um, a flight ticket or something like that that you need to pull out also when the wallet is closed on the other side you need to be careful not to put stuff in here that you know might fall off just you know pay attention to this because this part is not closed here and then you have on each side one two three four so four more card slots so all together you are you know you can put 12 cards in this wallet let me zip this off and then of course I didn't mention because I want to leave it for the end um, there's another zipper compartment here on the top why this one is interesting um, and here's the little card uh, why this one is interesting to me at least is that this one can be accessible from the outside and you know you might put here stuff that you want to pull out of the wallet without actually opening the wallet up uh, so what I mean by that is when the wallet is closed like this you see that there is the zipper compartment on the top I hope you can see that guys so now I can unzip that and get in here without really opening the whole wallet I think this is a very good idea um, because it is a big wallet and if you want to get into it very quickly um, you are you know able to do so uh, by you know opening just the top zip on this on this you know on this piece here uh, which I think adds a lot of versatility to this wallet uh, another thing which I was thinking about this wallet is if you get the Louis Vuitton chain which I said is not coming with the wallet but you need to purchase separately I think the last time I checked it the costs it costs around 115 euro um, so you know you can add that here and you know then you you could potentially use this as a clutch I mean you can use it now as a clutch but not as a clutch with a you know bracelet but if you add that piece or if you own a chain from some other Louis Vuitton piece you can you know put that there just to you know have it more securely 
I think size-wise, because it is a bigger wallet, it is bigger um, than the Zippy Organizer, for example. Uh, much bigger than the Zippy Organizer, actually. Um, I, I don't have the... I, I'm not going to do the measurement, but if you go to the Louis Vuitton site and you put in the Louis... Uh, I mean, the Insulate Organizer, um, you'll get the dimensions there. Uh, but as I said, due to the size, this can be easily worn as an evening clutch um, for going out and stuff like that. Uh, because you can put all your cards, all your cash, plus you can put your phone here. Um, a lot of people put the phone here, easily an iPhone 6, and it's not going to bulk up the wallet, it's not going to make it much bigger. I mean, because it's easy, you know, it's, it's very easy to put it in. Um, what else to say about this wallet? Um, I was looking at a lot of different wallets, but... Uh, we decided in the end to go for this one. Um, I think it's quite unique, um, and it's a good uh, it's a good compromise between something that is, you know, something like the Braza wallet is, which actually does not have a mechanism to close it, and something like the Zip is, which is completely shut. So it's like in between that. Also size wise, because. I'm looking for a bigger wallet. Um, I think it's, uh, um, you know, it, it's more like kind of a little clutch than, than a wallet. So I, there are different use scenarios for this wallet. Obviously, if you want to go small, that's not the wallet for you. Um, if you want a wallet that zips up completely and you, you want that extra security, then that's not the wallet for you. But if you want something which is a bit different, if you want something which is a hybrid between, you know, something which is completely open and something that zips up, uh, I think this is a very nice option. Definitely look at this wallet. If you think that this is too big, then look for the normal Insolid. So this is the Insolid organizer, but the Insolid is smaller. But functionality-wise, it retains the same options. Um, of you know, it, it, it's also snap closure. It's, the same wallet without the external pocket here and I think it doesn't have that this window which I actually don't mind you know this I didn't get it for this window um, I, I don't mind you know if this window is here or not maybe somebody needs that but me not really uh, but uh, um, for me it was you know I, I do appreciate the extra zipped out pocket on the outside this this is you know one of the things that I preferred it to the normal insulin and I kind of like it that it's very big so it looks like a little mini clutch especially if you add the chain and most probably I will go for the chain you know to to put it there later on I didn't pick it up on the day when I picked this up but later on I probably will go for it, for the chain also to put it here Alright guys, so this is my review, unboxing, view, thoughts about this Louis Vuitton Insolid Wallet in Monogram Canvas. Alright guys, if you like the video, please hit the like button and of course if you have comments, leave them in the comment box. And as always, subscribe because I will be doing more videos coming to you soon. For now, have a great day. Bye!